Uh, well, he's a leader. You know, him and LeBron are the two leaders on this team, so obviously we're going to miss him. Uh, we know he has surgery coming up soon, so hopefully a speedy recovery, get him back on the court. But his presence is still going to be felt. You know, just the person he is, uh, he's always going to be with us. What have you learned from him in just a very short period of time? I was just trying to control the game better. Um, when he comes in, you know, the pace goes however he wants it to go. Gets everybody in their spots, so that's what I try to do. What do you think's changed the most? Uh, last six out of seven games, you've won four in a row, eight and three since the 0 and 3 start? Definitely defense. Um, that's key for us. We know watching film offense is never really a problem. Um, rebounding was, uh, keeping guys in front, South Allen. So um, just try to work on those things and then result in wins. Looking forward to this uh, road trip. What, what changes for you in terms of, uh, you know, with Rondo being out? I just got to step up, uh, you know, play some more minutes, um, distribute the ball the best way I can, push the pace, and um, start the defense. Is there something personally that you're trying to do more of that, that your coaches are, are telling you? You've, you've done a good job the last couple games. Seems like you've been in a nice um, flow. Shoot the ball when I'm open, uh, you know, pick up, get into whoever I'm guarding. Uh, so I make their life as difficult as possible and go from there. You talked before about the, the way Rajon can control games and mm -hmm. control pace. You came in the league known as a real push ahead guy in terms of passes. Do you ever sometimes have to fight that instinct in terms of just getting rid of the ball quickly? Um, you know, just trying to take what defense gives us. Uh, this team has a lot of playmakers, a lot of guys who, you know, thrive in transition. So if I can get the ball to them on time, get it to them. But um, if not, I uh, just keep pushing it and I'll try to get a better shot. Is there something you saw behind the scenes that uh, Rajan really did to kind of relate to the guys in the second union get, get them on board? Uh, not even the second union. He relates to everybody. Uh, he talks to everybody, you know, 1 through 15. Uh, he's like a coach on the floor, so um, you know we use him all the time. Uh, whether in timeouts, he's talking um, on the court. Obviously, he's talking film sessions. Um, he's always helping people out. Lonzo, um, you've been playing with the first game at times for, for a while, and how much of an adjustment is it for you to be point guard, but to have LeBron have the ball in his hands? Um, just trying to you know find find my spots on the court. You know, LeBron's very good. You know, with the ball playmaking. So um, you know when he brings it up. Just try to fill the wing and, you know, get open, cut, set screens, um, try to do different things. But have you, I mean, in your career, have you ever been in a situation like this where you are basically um, playing off? I played off the ball a little bit at UCLA, but um, not as much as I this year, so it's a little bit of a joke. You saw it? One more minutes allow you to kind of get into a little more of a comfort zone with this team. So deep, that sometimes, you know, you can, so there's guys coming in all the time. Uh, like I said, it's just next man up. So, you know, if I'm out there, just do what I can, you know, to help the team out. Um, when we have Rondo, you know, obviously we have a full roster. We got a lot of guys that can play. You were sending a lot of uh, on-ball screens for LeBron last night. What does that do for your offense? Um, just open things up. Cause, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? You going to put a point guard on LeBron? Probably not. Um, if you blitz him, then I got you know four and three. So it's just good for offense. Is that something you you also take for Ron, from Rondo? It seemed like he was kind of doing that in some of the games as well. Oh, uh, for sure. Uh, it's just watching him try to do okay what he does. Lonzo, is it a cool moment for you? I know you've seen it on TV, great performances from all-time greats, but to see him, LeBron, get a milestone like that and you be a part of it, was, was it a different feeling when you went home and thought about it? Uh, definitely. You know, um, like you said, I watched him my whole life, so it's one thing to watch it on TV, another thing to play with him. Um, you know, he made history last night, you know, congratulated him, and it was definitely cool to be on the court with him. Lonzo, Brandon ends up playing some backup point guard. Can you tell us about like, what you saw from him last year? Uh, I think we all saw B.I. is very comfortable playing point guard. So, you know, there's no no stress there. You know, having 100% confident in him. And, um, you know, looking forward, looking forward to it. Rajan's ability to control games is among the best in the league. With him out, how do you guys avoid trying to do too much? Um, I don't think it's about doing too much. I think it's just doing what you know you're supposed to do. Like I said, we still have a lot of talented guys on this team. Um, everybody plays a role. You stick to that. You know, it's been translating the win, so trying to change anything up.